In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, something that's connected to subject-verb agreement that we've just looked at in the last video. But it's a little bit of a, a complicated area of it. And it's uh, all about singular versus plural, okay? So there are certain words in English that you think should be uh, more than one. They should be plural, but actually they're single. So uh, let's take a look at uh, this example. So everyone have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. What's the problem there? Can you see it? So let me give you a little tip. So there, everyone, uh, it feels like it should be more than one person, right? But actually in grammar, we think about it as one person. It's singular. So what should the correct version of this sentence be? The correct version should be, everyone has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So the have becomes has. Because remember, if we're in the third person singular, it's he, she, it, or someone's name, has. Now there are lots of words that have that same rule in English. So here are some of them. Uh, so I suggest that you take a look at this list very carefully. You can also find it in our additional materials. All of the ones in this list, in grammar, they are one. They are singular, all right? So be very careful when you're writing sentences with these words. So now we know the rule, let's take a look at a few correct examples, all right? So one of the boys in the class wants to be a doctor when he grows up. So you might think the boys was more than one, right? But be careful, we're only talking about one of them. So it's one of them wants and one of them grows up. So we have to add that S. The next one is, is there anyone here who knows how to speak Japanese? So again, anyone? might be lots of people who can speak Japanese, but we're looking for one person, so it's third person singular. And then the last one is a little bit more logical, I think. Nothing has been done yet. Now, you might, you might think that nothing is not even singular, it's, it's like zero, but we definitely don't use it as plural. It's not more than one. In grammar, nothing is also one thing. So in your challenge for this video, I'm going to give you some sentences again. You're going to decide if they're correct or not. And if they're not correct, write the correct version. So here are your three sentences. Have a try now. So let's take a look at the answers. First of all, nobody wants to leave the party so early. It includes lots of people, right? but we think about it as singular, so this one is incorrect. It should be, nobody wants to leave the party so early. The next one, none of the actors know what happened to the director. This is a tricky one. This one actually is correct, because you might have noticed, none is not on the list that I gave you before. So none actually is plural. We think about it as more than one person even in the grammar, all right? So that one is third person, plural. And then the last one, everything are for sale. I think this is a slightly easier one. This one should be, everything is for sale. Now, even though, you know, everything is more than one thing, right? We still think about it as singular. We think about it like one thing in the grammar. All right, everyone, so hopefully that's quite clear. I suggest that you review that list very carefully. That list is your very good friend. It's going to help you avoid making this common writing mistake. And I'll see you for another writing mistake in the next video.